Hello adventurers, heroes, and villains too. The first in-game event has been announced, and I for one cannot wait to visit the fairgrounds and experience all the wonders they have in store for us. Based off the dev blog and the sneak peek access I got as a paleo partner, we've got a lot of new NPC quests, some mini games, and many prizes to look forward to, like eight different plushies. Brings me back to my Beanie Baby collecting days, along with lore about the world of Palea. The Magi Market takes place in a new location, southeast of Kilima Village, and runs from August 29th for an entire month. You can access the market from 6 p.m. to 3 a.m. Palea time every night until September 26th. But even when the night market is closed during Pelion dawn and day, you can still access the fairgrounds to just hang out or fish while the event is live. According to the team, there will be over 50 new prizes, treats, and souvenirs to find and collect, all completely unique to the Magi Market, like maybe some house decor just waiting to be acquired. The market brings with it stamp cards that you can complete to get even more fun rewards. And as a heads up, tickets earned from stamp cards during the event will remain in your inventory and can be used in the future. You just won't see them on your screen, so don't fret if you can't see any unused ones after the event. You'll have access to them when necessary. Within the market are various shops that sell items for gold as well. And because this is a special event, some of these are pretty pricey. So make sure you're saving up and getting those cake making parties happening. There's also RNG that could make gold star quality happen for each food item you can buy, meaning they would be placeable on your plot. A question I'm sure many of you will have is in regards to any furniture or decor items from the market being customizable. You won't be able to customize the colors since they are meant to reflect the event itself in theme and feeling. The best part about the items and recipes for this event though, is that they'll be available again in the future. While we don't know the details yet of when or how, the team made sure that no one will feel left out if they can't participate in this particular Magi Market. Aside from new items, there are many more fun things to do, like take photos in the Choppa or Ormu cutouts, watch the fireworks show, participate in the Choppa chase, which triggers every night at midnight in game, and snack on various goodies. While Eshe and I don't exactly get along, even I have to thank her for this particular event revival. I'll keep my eyes peeled for my invitation, and so should you. If you see me at the fireworks show, make sure to come say hi. The next bit of video is going to have a lot of spoiler footage from the Sneak Partner Preview. So if you want to experience the market for the first time on your own, please make sure to stop the video here and don't forget to subscribe before you go. Now for everyone that wants to see what's in store for you, here's a couple extra sneak peeks. Fireworks. There will be a new craftable firework in the shape of Umbra the Phoenix. You can buy them at the market and eventually learn to craft them outside the event while the dragon firework is special to the event only, so you should stock up while you can. Here's a more complete look at the items that will be available during the event as well, so you can do a little math and maybe take note on how much you need to save up. Just remember, this is a month-long IRL event, so there's plenty of time to grab what you want. There will also be a tab in-game for you to use to keep track of event quests and tasks. So there's no need to buy a new notebook unless you really want to. You might notice some villagers are both active at the market as well as on the other maps. Like many MMOs, this is so other quests can be completed within the game more easily alongside the special event. So you'll probably still see Kenyatta at the stables in the evening, even though she's also manning the Chapa booth at the market. And finally, why a market as the first event? The team says it's to test out an entire separate area that runs alongside the existing maps. The market runs on the same server as Kilima, so if you server sync with a friend in Kilima, you'll both run into each other at the market as well. The game is still in beta, so this is a great way for them to test out how events will work in real time, as well as letting us enjoy the ride. They've also stated that this will be the setting for future events, and it's known as the fairgrounds which will be closed off when an event is inactive. So there you have it. That's all there is to know about the upcoming Palea event as of now. 
I hope you enjoy the Magi Market as much as I will. You'll find me at the drums most nights or chasing pesky chapas. Thanks for watching and have a very magical day.